America's premier source for sports television. the north side here tonight as the Cubs have returned home. It's a seven day six game NL Central homestand starting with a Pittsburgh Pirates game one of a three game series. Great to have you with us Jim Deshays and Len Casper. The Pirates are hot. They've won five in a row and the Cubs coming off a nice four and two road trip. Yeah one thing the Cubs have not done the last two or three years is win within the division and certainly haven't won on the road. They were able to do that on this trip split a four game set with the Pirates three of those games were one run games and then one two in Pittsburgh. Here's the math four and two five and a half runs per game. Good work by the, the lineup in the bullpen posting a three point two zero ERA. Struggled a little bit in Pittsburgh but bounced back and really pitched well in Cincinnati. Got a pitching rematch from last week in Pittsburgh. Vance Worley bested Jason Hamill, and Hamill's trying to turn the tables tonight. Yeah, Worley actually has been quite good against the Cubs in his career. 3 0 lifetime with an ERA below two. Uh, Hamill in his start in Pittsburgh. I thought he was good early on, had some bad luck, some soft hits drop in, in against him. Ended up going five innings, allowed four runs, three earned. Cubs four and four so far here in the friendly confines and the first road trip for Addison Russell featured excellent defense and a key hit in the win yesterday in Cincinnati. We'll have the Pirates and Cubs and Russell's Wrigley Field debut next. per month or get zero percent APR for up to 60 months. Innovation that excites. Rogue from the most fuel efficient lineup in America. Shop choosenissan.com. get this done and I'm missing the Bulls game what are you doing go to CSNChicago.com and stream the game now what's happening right now I'm about to get a triple double and you're gonna miss it okay okay live extra on CSNChicago.com Rose a bounce to Noah Lamb. nice Noah that was the buggy whip my friends Baseball on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you in part by your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois through it all. AT&T Uverse. Find out what's possible with AT&T. Call 1-800-PICK-ATT. Mobilizing your world. Ford. Check out America's freshest lineup at your local Ford store or at localfordstores.com. And by Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. Statue Billy Williams outside the ballpark. Inside, clear and cold tonight. Looks like most everybody was prepared with jackets and gloves and even a blue cap that makes you look like Papa Smurf. <laughs> your new name now the Pirates Southwest starting the lineup written out by manager Clint Hurdle they have won five in a row and yesterday an eight nothing win 14 hits a season high that game played in Arizona Harrison Lambo in uh, Polanco late scratch we'll tell you about that in a second McCutcheon in center scuffling right now Neil Walker's at second he's got a nine game hitting streak Starling Marte has been hot Pedro Alvarez at first Francisco Cervelli the catcher it's Jordy Mercer the shortstop batting eighth and Vance Worley hitting ninth comes in the field this evening 
Hoglin, Fowler, Solaire. Left center right. Third baseman Bryant. Castro and Russell up the middle. Rizzo's your first baseman. Miguel Montero is behind the plate tonight in the Lexus pursuing perfection starting pitcher for the Cubs this evening is veteran right hander Jason Hamill. He's made three starts one up one down one no decision a 5.19 earned run average for Jason. And um, look at that stat line the thing that really jumps out at you just one walk issued so far in 17 and a third innings he struck out 16 and as I mentioned in his last start was victimized by some bad luck early on. So Harrison will dig in. Former minor league teammate of Starlin Castro, in fact. Before he was traded to the Pirates. Pirates 11 and 8 starting the night. The Cubs 10 and 7, and a strike called to get us started. 93. On the fastball from Jason Hamill. Fouled away quickly. Hamill ahead 0 and 2. As is often the case early in the year, this part of the country, cold weather should favor the pitchers. Doesn't always play out that way. Lifted in the air to right. Jorge Soler over near the foul line makes the catch. Roster moves before the ball game. For more on that, here's Kelly Kroll. Yeah, the Cubs beefing up their bench a little bit back to full strength as they recall outfielder Junior Lake on the option. They have sent Brian Schlitter to Triple A Iowa. And guys, Madden did say he was okay with 12 pitchers after, of course, the rain out on Saturday. And then he has the off day coming up on Thursday. But Junior Lake will be available if he needs him tonight. Kelly, thank you. Maybe uh, evening up things on the roster. They had the extra pitcher a little short on the bench with the extra catcher. And Andrew Lambeau got the late call to start tonight. Gregory Polanco scratched due to left groin tightness. Yeah, I think I think Joe Madden feels pretty comfortable with this move because he's got two lefties in the pen with Coke and Ross Cup now. Uh, Jackson hasn't been used all that much. Jermaine. Has thrown the ball well the little bit we've seen of him so been kind of starting to take shape and, and I'm sure Joe appreciates having that extra guy on the bench because he's like a mad scientist he, he likes to use guys and we saw that game in Pittsburgh where we almost got to a point where we had Travis Wood playing the field so an extra, an extra piece an extra pawn to play with for the chess master 2-1 to Lambo and that rising fastball Getting a swing and a miss. Hamill, good life on the heater here, nearly going 93, 94 miles an hour. Complement that with a slider, occasional curve and change. 6'6 six, six righty coming back. That ball hit on the ground, bobbled by Rizzo. He still has time. Hamill covering. Two down. Set the umpires for you tonight. Lance Barrett. Well, we're calling plate. Diana Isonia is at first. Dale Scott, the crew chief, at second. And CB Buckner is over at third. 43 degrees. Feels like it's in the low 30s. And we've got a north wind right now at 10 miles an hour. Blowing in basically from left and left center. Andrew McCutcheon just went through the longest offer of his career yesterday. Against the Diamondbacks, snapped an 0 for 16, and you see hitting just 186. Taking his walks, not hitting for a lot of power early on. One one in the dirt. Cutchin. A career 359 hitter in this ballpark. On two bounces to Bryant. To end the inning, a 1 2 3 opening frame. Cubs coming up. Hey, Jerry. 
Nice yard. I bet this dead wood really hits home for you. <laughs> the only thing getting trimmed around here are property values. Does it ever feel like your yard work is taunting you? Where you going? The nail salon's the other way. Take back your yard with professional-grade equipment from Echo. Reliable, easy to use, and backed by a five-year warranty. Echo. Get serious. During the Echo National Sales Event, get the SRM 225 trimmer for less than $200. There are other luxury cars starting around 29,900. But when put to the challenge, not one of them made this kind of, what's the word? Impact. The Audi A3, the only car in its class to receive both a five-star overall safety rating and IIHS top safety pick. Experience the spring of Audi sales event today and get exceptional values on the Audi you've always wanted. What can I help you find today? Uh, we are repainting, but our yes. kids are tough on walls. Yes. I totally get it. You need Valspar. It's our best paint. It'll stand up to the wildest play date. That is exactly what oh, we need. Do not hit your brother. Uh -uh. And you know, with the Valspar color guarantee, if you don't like the color, you get a new one free. Oh, what? Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Change color for free? We've been doing that for years. Hey, Val, check it out. Hey, Val. I see you, honey. Getting help at the paint studio at Ace is like going to your neighbor. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. If tonight's Cubs leadoff man gets a hit, Benny's Beverage Depot will donate $100 to Make-A-Wish, Illinois. Cubs Southwest starting uh, lineup looks like one we've seen quite a bit here lately. Fowler, Solaire, Rizzo at the top. Rizzo keeps getting on base for Chris Bryant, Miguel Montero, who loves it. And he hit his 100th career homer yesterday in Cincinnati. Castro off to a great start. Chris Coughlin's got three homers. Jason Hamill, the pitcher, and young Addison Russell in his Wrigley debut. Take a look first at the Pirates outfield. You see McCutcheon in center, flanked by Marte and Lambeau, third to first. Harrison Mercer, Walker, Alvarez, Cervelli. Over from the Yankees does the catching. Lexus pursuing perfection starting pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates is, is the Vanimal. It's Worley two and one with an ERA of four here in the early going has not lost to the Cubs in his career. Two strikes on Dexter Fowler as you check out what Worley has done one of those two wins came against the Cubs last week. 3 0 lifetime, five career starts, and a 1.97 against the Cubs. Walker with an easy play. He gets Fowler. So this will be his fourth start of the year, and against just two clubs. His first two starts were against Milwaukee. The first one, he gave up six earned runs and six in the third. Then he figured them out, pitched well against him his second outing, allowed just two in six innings. And against the Cubs, last time out, five and two thirds, six hits, one run. It was unearned. Couple of walks, five strikeouts. Works from the third base side of the rubber, throws across his body a little bit. The dirt on Jorge Soler, it's been a real struggle. His last four games, he's nothing for 15 with 10 strikeouts. And I've seen him do a bunch of things that we normally don't see, and that is swing at a lot of stuff out of the strike zone. Yeah, he's, he's, he's chased pitches and, and you know. Bit, he was here last year when he went out of the zone. He'd, he'd make a little bit of contact, and, and you know, this, this recent stretch, just a lot of swings and misses. Just pressing a little bit. Orley's not going to light up the radar gun. Fastball in the high 80s. There's a cutter, a curve, and a change. Drills this one into the left field corner. And it's going to one hop the wall. This way to snap that Ofer streak. <laughs> Who was worried? It's fine. Well, me worry. Alfred E. <laughs> Newman. Well, that's a cement mixer. Backup breaking ball. That's, you know, he's been chasing that breaking ball out of the zone, but when you leave it there, pretty good chance he's going to punish it. The Major League on base percentage leader Anthony Rizzo 481. 
And I got a tweet asking a good question. What's right. the Cubs single season record or on base percentage? Well, all time, according to baseball reference, King Kelly, 1886, 483. But in the modern era, Rogers Hornsby put up a 459 in 1929. That was a live ball era, right? 1929? Right around that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Of the 30s? Yeah, the dead ball era ended around 1920. Yeah, that's when Ruth was hitting all the home runs. Rogers Hornsby wouldn't go to the uh, wouldn't go to the movies because he thought it bothered upset his vision. Strike called one and two. Said he spent his winter staring out the window waiting for spring to arrive. <laughs> Here it is, and he struck him out swinging. Two away, and it'll bring up Chris Bryant. Two seen fastball, well located. And he's just a little late getting started, it looked like. Nine games into his big league career. Well, you like the, the walks to, to strikeouts ratio. I know uh, Jesse Rogers talked to you, saw your quote about how rare that is for a kid this young. And, you know, a power hitter profile to almost have a one to one walks to strikeouts. Yeah, it's something that you, you maybe see a player grow into, um, but it is. Pretty rare to see a young kid come to the big leagues and, and have that combination. Discipline and power. Power hasn't really showed up yet here in terms of the home run. We've seen him drive some balls for sure. 3 0, oh, Montero waiting on deck. Orleans from Sacramento, California, 27 years old. He's put together 6'2, 250. Be put together if you had the word animals somehow part of it. Yeah, game. yeah. You wouldn't, you, you're like you wouldn't call Chris Russell the, the animal or anything like that. Fastball Ooh. count didn't get one three no, two. No, he threw, it looked like he threw him a little cutter on three zero and then a changeup on three one. And that's the other thing about Brian. You know, everybody's aware of what he's capable of, and they are treating him like respect. No rookie treatment here for Brian. to the shortstop Mercer is it across a good hustle by Bryant as the throw barely beat him double by Solaire no runs were scoreless early We can help you with a mortgage or a home equity loan for something bigger and better. BMO Harris Bank. We're here to help. When the moment's spontaneous, why pause to take a pill? Or stop to find a bathroom? Cialis for daily use is approved to treat both erectile dysfunction and the urinary symptoms of BPH, like needing to go frequently, day or night. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions and medicines and ask if your heart is healthy enough for sex. Do not take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Do not drink alcohol in excess. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, get medical help right away for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, or any symptoms of an allergic reaction, stop taking Cialis and get medical help right away. Ask your doctor about Cialis for daily use and the free 30 tablet trial. You like bacon? I like bacon. You don't want the DQ five buck lunch with a bacon cheeseburger. I like bacon. All for just five bucks. 
The DQ five buck lunch. Entree, fries, drink, plus a sundae. This is fan food. I like Sundays. Interact with CSN Chicago during tonight's game using the hashtag Cubs Talk. And make sure to follow us on Twitter at Len and JD. Second inning of work for Jason Hamill. Flopped with Travis Wood, who will get the ball tomorrow night. Switch hitting Neil Walker. Travis Wood, Jeff Lock in game two, Kyle Hendricks, Garrett Cole on Wednesday night. Both right handed but contrasting styles. And we missed Cole in the four game set in Pittsburgh last week. And he's off to a very good start. The Pirates pitching overall has been really good. They allowed just two runs to the Diamondbacks, sweeping them over the weekend and three games out in the desert. It's our fifth in the National League and runs scored. Walker down the right field line foul his bid for a 10 game hitting streak. The other way. Still one and two. As a pitcher on a cold night like tonight, one thing you want to be mindful of is the guys playing behind you. Keep keep them in the dugout as much as possible. Work quickly, throw strikes. Just outside on a fastball. It's two and two. was seven out of 12 over the weekend against the D-backs so he's seen it really well he held up it's full Starling Marte on deck no game tonight in Baltimore White Sox and Orioles postponed due to safety concerns they've had rioting uh, downtown Baltimore following the funeral of Freddie Gray Rob Manfred, the uh, MLB commissioner, was actually at the ballpark as Solaire will make the catch. And they possibly could move uh, tomorrow night's game to Nationals Park in Washington, depending on the safety situation in Baltimore. Yeah, you just cannot afford to bring your fans down into that area right now with everything that's going on. About a thousand fans in the ballpark when they announced the postponement about 40 minutes prior to the scheduled first pitch. Here's Marte and he bunts foul. He likes to bunt. He can hit the ball out of the ballpark, but he's a complete player. Thirteen home runs last year, thirty stolen bases. He's had good success here, just like Andrew McCutcheon, a career 330 batter at Wrigley Field. Nominated for the uh, NL Player of the Week at 381 last week. Oh two. Well, that's a good sinker from Hamill. Ball almost ended up in the dirt. That's how much it ended up dropping. Five up, five down to get started here for Hamill, and indeed a very good sinking fastball. 
Down well below the knees. Pedro Alvarez has now started every game but one. First base. Cubs won the first two in Pittsburgh last week, but the Pirates able to salvage a split by taking the final two games of that very tightly contested series. Pirates have won five in a row in this ballpark. They were seven and two here last year. Clint Hurdle has done a fantastic job as a manager of the Pirates. Back to back playoff seasons after a long two decade drought. Hamill. Good early inning and a half in the books, scoreless. This is a different kind of airline. One that invented low fare so everyone could fly. One that decides where to go next by putting your needs first. And knows people are its most powerful fuel. Some say we do things differently. We say, why would we do things any other way? Without a heart, it's just a machine. Dutch Boy Max Bond Exterior Paint from Menards features a no prep, no prime formula. It provides superior adhesion to dirty, chalky, glossy, or previously painted surfaces. Save $7 a gallon. That's $35 on five gallon pails. Grow the perfect lawn with Schultz Grass Seed. Start a new yard or fix bare spots with sun and shade. Shady lawn, hardy lawn, or high traffic seed. Your choice. A three pound bag is just $7.88 each. Save big money at Menards. Honda's the only company ever to win both the Indy 500 and a Supercross Racing Championship. They were also the first to come up with this. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event! Where you can get great deals on almost everything Honda makes, including the sporty Civic, named best value in its class. Get great deals on Civics right now! The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event. Get a dream deal on a Civic with standard rear-view camera. Now, at your Honda dealer. Best defensive left fielder in the game's got to be Alex Gordon. Our Xfinity high-speed action on the south side of Chicago yesterday against the White Sox. Watch what he did. Into the stands. Uh, just complete disregard for his body. Flung himself into the stands to make that catch. One quick peek. See where the wall was. And he right back on the baseball. Uh, I think everybody ultimately was okay. So my scenario and uh, kudos to betterrulebook.com as they tweeted out that I've mentioned this. If there had been a runner at third and less than two outs that guy would have scored. Mm -hmm. Don't you fall out of play after making a mm -hmm. catch like that. So it's game seven of the World Series bottom of the ninth. You got to think about it. Is it worth it. Miguel Montero homered yesterday knocked in two. The Cubs win at Great American Ballpark, and he did get the baseball from his 100th career homer. He and Chris Coglin leading the team with three long balls. Anthony DiStefani trying to go down and away on him, and Montero showing good pop the other way. Pulls this one. Toward the gap, it's cut off by Lambo and a leadoff single for Montero. I was out away from him a little bit, but he went out there and cut it off. Starlin Castro off to the best start of his career not only with the bat but defensively as well with a lot of confidence he's hit in 14 of his first 17 games this season ball one low 
nine out of 25 on the road trip. Good for a 360 batting average. Drove in five. Flashing a little leather. How about this play? Brennan Bosch. He got Bosch a couple times in the ball game yesterday, but that was outstanding. Cervelli held it for an extra second. Could not buy the call from Lance Barrett. Potential hit and run here with Castro hitting two balls, one strike. I'm going. Only not a big swing and miss guy. Castro puts the ball in play a high percentage of the time. That one's well placed at the knees. Pirates have pitched really well early on. Particularly their starters. Could be two. Six to four to three. Just in time at first. I recall a big double play. Worley was able to coax off the bat of Castro in his last start against the Cubs. And that was a kind of a turning point in the game. Cubs were trying to break it open and could not. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they had a four to one lead. We got the big double play, and then the Pirates came back and won that ball game. Chris Coughlin, ball one. See, I was totally wrong about that. It's four game series. They all blend together. Uh, it was a Chris <laughs> Ryan at bat. Swing 3 0 and eventually got him to fly out. Arte on the warning track, and that will end the inning. Two in the books, nothing, nothing. What's in a drop? The expectation of what comes next. That's what keeps the energy going. The drop refreshes the beat every time. So what's in a drop? This copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced or descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. Football fans. Jump on to CSNChicago.com and ride the road to the NFL Draft, presented by AT&T UVerse. Forget the mock draft mania and rise above the noise all month long as we release four in-depth prospect profiles every day until the bright lights shine on Chi-Town. Hear from the top players, plus the best pre-draft player intel with NBC Sports and Roto World NFL Draft expert Josh Norris. Watch tomorrow's NFL stars today on CSNChicago.com. The best amateur triathlon in Chicagoland just got better. Leon's world's fastest triathlon this year proudly hosts the U.S. Armed Forces Triathlon Championship. America's finest join Chicagoland's best for a full weekend of fun and top speed triathlon action. It's the first race of the Chicagoland Tri-Series. Leon's world's fastest triathlon. Proudly honoring America's service men and women and our veterans. Sunday, June 7, 2015. For more information, go to leonstriathlon.com. Scoreless as we head to the third. Cub fans, let's go! Cubs are making some noise this year, so don't miss the excitement here at Wrigley Field. Tickets are still available for every game in this homestand. Brewers are coming to town after the Pirates. Get your tickets at Cubs.com. Let's go! And 
and follow Patrick Mooney, our Cubs insider all season long here on Comcast Sportsnet. Brought to you by Nationwide agent Jeff Vukovic. Visit Jeff, jeffvuk.com. Nationwide is on your side. Jorge Soler, I know, was a topic of conversation with Joe Madden. A double to snap an 0 for 15. Um, it's pretty obvious he doesn't love the cold weather. And Patrick, we've talked, uh, JD and I have. Very few guys do like playing in cold weather. Uh, he just seems to be a little more deliberate about it with uh, all the gear he's wearing. Yeah, that, I think Joe called it his face mask look. And, you know, Joe was asking, where was Jorge Soler last year? And we're like, he was pretty much rehabbing most of the year in Arizona. So obviously, you know, he's getting used to just the big leagues in general. Uh, and then you throw in this cold factor here. It can't be uh, comfortable to play with. And it's just kind of part of the peaks and valleys, you know, these young guys are going to go through. Two strikes on Cervelli. The dirt from Hamill, one and two. Uh, any update on Javier Baez? Uh, Theo pregame said he thinks it's a matter of days not weeks uh, to when he rejoins the Iowa club uh, obviously seeing Addison Russell here making his Wrigley debut uh, kind of natural to wonder about Javi uh, but hopefully he gets back on track pretty soon All strike three on Cervelli that's three straight strikeouts now for Hamill yeah he's got good fastball command tonight he's off to a great start here First two strikeouts were swinging. This time he paints the outside corner on Cervelli, who didn't like it, but appeared to be a really good pitch. Another shortstop, Jordy Mercer. Uh, Justin Grimm. Any updates on uh, Justin Grimm? Uh, not really. Uh, I think they're basically. Uh, they said he's making progress. That he's doing better. I believe he's on a throwing program in Arizona. Uh, I think he would. I'm guessing he would be ahead of Ramirez. There hasn't been you know, much clarity uh, with that. Uh, but obviously you see those two pieces, you pull them out of the bullpen, it's a, a huge loss. There's a 1-1, and it's off the outside corner. All right, the DH. So the Wainwright injury happens. Now we have this renewed debate. Max Scherzer chimed in. People would rather see Big Poppy hit than me. Uh, and actually, I think he got hurt too, right? Uh, he's got a little thumb. I think he's going to miss yeah. a start. As it pertains to the Cubs, though, <laughs> it's kind of fun because you've got Kyle Schwarber, Dan Vogelbach. You've got all this offensive talent in the minor leagues and only so many defensive positions. I'm not saying it's going to happen next year, even the year after. Do we all agree that it's when, not if. We'll have the DH in both leagues. I Whether we like it or not. I don't. I, you think think, I think there's a. You think it's going to stay? I think there's separate. some people there. I think there's. I, well. I guess I, I, if I had to bet, I would say it's probably going to happen. But I don't know if it's at the point where it's a given that it's going to happen. Okay. What do you think, Patrick? I think it's got to come up with uh, the labor deal expiring after next season. I think selfishly, if you're the Cubs, you've got to be interested in this. Uh, you know, it came up a couple of years ago, and we asked Dale Swaim about it, and he immediately thought of. Dan Vogelbach and at that point Vogelbach was in like a ball and not kind of tearing up the Southern League and that was pre Kyle Schwarber a guy who you're not quite sure if he can catch or play left field and we're obviously getting ahead of ourselves but I think Theo's in the past has said you know that he likes the idea he did not want to address it this afternoon saying I say the same thing every year in league meetings right. um, and they get a no early with an infield hit Good effort. That would have been fancy. It would have. So the first pirate hit comes from the nine spot, the pitcher. Well, here's where I go, JD. Forget injuries to pitchers. We have so much interleague play. If you could tell me no more interleague play and National League plays National League, American plays American, and then the World Series, we have fun with mixing it up. I'm fine with it, but I just feel like two different sets of rules and we have a lot of mixing of of teams is, is weird. Everything else it's they weird. do in baseball it's is weird. to kind of create one major league. I don't think there's even a National League president anymore, is there? No. <laughs> no, there's no independent league president. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a purist on this I one. I too. don't want to see it happen. If anything, I'd like to see the American League eliminate I the agree, DH. But that's I, never going to happen. It's a losing battle. It's, that's never going to happen. 
It's a losing I, I do kind of like the debate. Yeah. And I don't think if I don't think your club really sh should worry about fighting for a rules change based on the personnel that they have in the minor leagues. Because when you make a rule change, it's it's there for good. It's going to yep. stay, and, and your personnel is going to change over time. And if you have Dan Vogelbach and you don't think he can play a position in the biggest way, he's still an asset that you could move to an American League club, unless they wised up and got rid of the DH, um, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't going to happen. Um, but yeah, you're probably right. It's probably going to happen eventually. I just I'm gonna, it's I'm gonna be kicking and screaming oh. against it when it does. You saw my Twitter feed today. 85% of the people agree with you and are upset that I even brought it up. It gets away, and Montero's going to throw even though Worley isn't really running. All right, Patrick, you're our designated writer <laughs> slash TV guy. Thanks, man. No score. At Red Lobster's Create Your Own Seafood Trio, if it looks tasty, you order it. Choose three of nine dishes for just $15.99, like baked lobster alfredo, brown butter shrimp scampi, and soy ginger salmon. Hey, this is my plate. Get yours while you still can. Love the color. Oh, thanks. I went to Lowe's and they helped me pick out the color and gave me a few tips to do it myself. Well, it looks amazing. You know, now that it's done, you know what else I'm gonna finally try? Wearing a fedora. <sighs> fedora twins! The switch to T-Mobile is on. Even Verizon customers are seeing the light. T-Mobile has America's fastest 4G LTE network. From the Bay Area to the Big Apple. And more data capacity per customer. Need one more reason? Get two lines of unlimited 4G LTE data for 100 bucks. Save without settling on America's fastest 4G LTE network. Wednesday, NL rivals collide under the lights as the Pirates head into uncharted waters to clash with our Cubs. So man the cannons and help them fight off the box right here. Cubs, Pirates, starting at 7 on CSN. Wednesday Baseball is brought to you by DraftKings. Fans, as the Hawks get set to start an exciting second rounder with Minnesota, do not forget to flip over to CSN Chicago after the action for instant reaction, highlights, and more on Blackhawks post game live. Presented by Hawk Ford after every game on Comcast Sportsnet. Bundled up on a cold Monday night here at Wrigley Field. Well, if the pitcher weren't hitting in the Pirates lineup, they may not have a hit. Huh? And you Jason Hamill's four for eight. You got a 500 hitter. You can't take the bat out of his hands. Well, he's not letting the elements influence him. He's out there. He's getting knocked. He's pitching with no sleeves. It was a swing born out of getting his face out of the way of the pitch. The bat went with it. careless and Jason almost made him pay. Well, 
him nothing else. Take a bite out of him. Make him throw some pitches. The breaking ball up, but he pops it up, and it's Neil Walker to make the catch. And here comes 21-year-old Addison Russell. Second baseman, number 22, Addison Russell. Number three prospect in all of baseball, according to Baseball America, and number two in the Cubs system. That one is rifled foul to left. Tells you something about the Cubs system. Not even number one in the own in the Cubs system. It's Chris Bryant, but they're both here. Sharply hit, but right at Josh Harrison for the out. Yeah, Bryant, we knew would be here pretty early this season. Russell, we weren't sure exactly when he would get here, but we're not getting a whole lot out of the second base position. Alcantara was struggling. Herrera is more of a bench guy. Listen, Russell, supremely talented. He's always been the youngest guy for his league by a wide margin. He's the youngest player in the National League right now. It'll be fun to watch him develop. Fowler hits it hard, but foul past Brandon Hyde, the Cubs' first base coach. Gary Jones at third. Dexter's got to get on base a little bit more and steal some bags. He's got four steals. Anthony Rizzo has five. That money's still on Fowler to steal more. Yeah, they, yeah Anthony, they're going to start calling him the Flash or something the way he's been running. Dancing Bear. for time. Shake of the ball in the glove by Worley in the pitch. Sinker is low. Yeah, I don't think Worley would try to get Fowler out inside if they were doing their homework watching Dexter as that bats on this road trip. He's doing a lot of good work. Ball's moving away from him. Exploiting that gap in left center. Hart does the staff do a pretty good job of pitching inside making hitters aware of both sides of the plate and a guy like Worley certainly has to do that he's not going to overpower you in the strike zone he is going to fool you in the strike zone though very deceptive story on him we talked about it in his last start it's an inordinate number of called third strikes he's not a big swing and miss guy he doesn't have a real high strikeout rate but a good chunk of his strikeouts are are looking and with left handed hitters a lot of times it's that two seam fastball that he'll start inside and runs back to the inside corner. Ball four. This Friday May 1st the Cubs welcome in the new month and the Milwaukee Brewers at 120 the first 10,000 fans in attendance will get a Wrigley Field football presented by Wintrust Community Banks for more info or to purchase seats visit Cubs.com. Orle has been good in his career shutting down the running game. It's been a losing proposition. Nine steals, 12 caught. Not that many attempts when he's been on the mound. Pretty good lead by Fowler. Not going. Outside. On Solaire. Quick step, quick, quick arm action. Oh. 
Only a third round pick of the Phillies in 2008. Came to the big leagues for the first time at the age of 22 in 2010. Just a handful of appearances. Then the next year, he was 11 and 3 for the Phillies. 21 starts. Kind of the high point for him for resurfacing with Pittsburgh last year when he was eight and four and 17 starts. Chop foul and over the Cubs dugout. Just for fun, taken ahead of Worley in the third round in 2008. Craig Kimbrell to the Braves. Danny Espinosa to the Nationals. There goes Fowler to base hit. And he'll keep on moving to third. Solaire's two for two. Feels so good, feeling good again. For that 0 for 15, 10 punch out streak. Solaire, despite the cold, off to a good start here tonight. Double and now this single. That's a base hit anyway. You see where Walker was playing Solaire, so it wasn't so much that he vacated to, to cover the bag. He was well towards second base anyway. And now Anthony Rizzo. Punched out swinging in the opening inning. Ball one. <laughs> 10 out of 22 on the road trip. That's 455. That's Rogers Hornsby like. Yep. Line broad base hit. Cubs grab the lead. Fowler scores. Soler on his way to third. Rizzo hustling into second. He's got a standing double. One nothing. Talk about locked in. <laughs> what a great swing of the bat. Back door, slider, cutter, something like that. Fowler trots home, so Lair to third, and Rizzo hustling all the way into second. Decision time now for the Pirates. How aggressive do they want to be with Bryant with the base open? Left handed hitting Miguel Montero on deck, and that's exactly why Joe, uh, Joe Madd likes to put up his right and left handed bats. Two out rally here in the third. Walk, single, double. And it's one nothing. Not just Joe. It's most major league managers like to do it. Create some matchup problems. You want to pitch around the dangerous guy in the cleanup spot? Well, you could do that, but we've got a left handed hitter with Pop on deck who's also swinging it really well right now. Stay loose, fellas. It's early. Bryant has seen about 40% you know, fastballs, seeing a lot of sliders. 
Well, one of the things I really like about him, I don't know how this at bat is going to turn out, but we've seen him in situations like this. A couple men on base, a couple outs where, you know, a young hitter might get a little jumpy and expand his own. He's been very patient in these situations. Tom Worley got him to offer at that breaking pitch. Strike the ball. Slider. Foul. As Joe Madden says, to accept a walk. Not take a walk, but accept it. I'm not going to throw you a strike. All right. Dog on down to first. That ball will drop down. Two runs are going to score. Soler and Rizzo. And the line keeps moving. Three nothing. Two outs, nobody on when it started. Fowler able to work the walk. And three straight hits, single, double, single. Solaire, Rizzo, Bryant. This fastball, it's a good chunk of home plate. Inside out stroke by Bryant. Trip to the mound by Ray Searage, a pitching coach. Jones is going to have a lot more traffic to deal with this year than last. about Bryant he hasn't homered yet and yet the profile's been great <laughs> it's his 10th game 44 plate appearances and he's known as a home run hitter he hasn't hit one but he's contributed a ton offensively so just wait till it heats up a little bit the fun should really start yeah, I think, you know, a couple things that stand out to me. There's the quality at bat, the athleticism, the way he runs the bases, the way he moves around out there at third base for such a big, tall guy. One and two on Montero. Check on him. Back in safely. A walk and three straight hits. Here it comes. It's outside. Mentioned the Pirates pitching staff, second in the National League. With a 2.91 earned run average. Second in the majors in terms of their starters, ERA at 264. 
Orly strikes out Montero, but the Cubs get three and lead it three to nothing. Unboxing something great never gets old. Two helpings of juicy, thick-cut marinated steak inside of a grilled cheesy quesadilla with a side of chips and salsa. The new Steak Double Dia. Unbox it only at Taco Bell. These are no longer cars. They no longer roar or screech or skid or speed. If a lion doesn't hunt, is it still a lion? Don't protect your car so it can look nice. Protect it so it can look mean. Don't fear the wear and tear. Be it. Just be ready for it. Turtle Wax Ice with Smart Shield technology. Protect the body. Free the soul. Amazing Cascade video walls from Prism. Learn more at prism.com. On draft night, get your football fix with CSN. Kick things off at 5.30 with Sports Talk Live from the Tavern at the Park. And grab the latest on the Bears' number seven pick from the Auditorium Theater, Hallis Hall, and beyond. NFL draft coverage presented by Miller Lite. This season at Wrigley Field, the Cubs will feature Budweiser Bleacher Fridays on select dates throughout the season. Budweiser Bleacher Fridays will include pregame entertainment, exclusive giveaway items, special food and beverages, and more. For more information and to buy your Budweiser Bleacher tickets, visit Cubs.com. Looking good. Uh, I guess the concrete has to uh, sit there for a few weeks to get settled before they can put the uh, bleachers there, but it's getting close. It's kind of curious. Yeah, we, you know, when it was wet, we should have went out there and put our handprints in it. Lennon JD 2015. Right. 100 years from now, they'd say, what is that? One strike on Andrew Lambeau as Hamill works with a 3 nothing lead. Jason came into this game having walked just one batter in his first three starts. He's issued no walks tonight, just one base runner. The infield hit by Morley last inning. To have all of his pitches working for him here this evening. Lots of injury news today. Adam Wainwright. Thursday we'll have uh, Achilles surgery. He's done for the year. Adam Ottavino has been closing for the Rockies. Goes to the DL with right triceps inflammation. Called strike three. Homer Bailey. Right elbow sprain to the DL. And Lambo not pleased at all with that strike three call. He's taking that don't leave the batter's box rule to heart. I'm not leaving. <laughs> they told us to stay in the box. Borderline pitch. Could have gone either way. Brandon McCarthy has a torn ulnar collateral ligament. Really? I saw well he came out of the game the other yep. day. Uh, Bad news for the Dodgers. Tip or strike three.
Starting to pile up the red ink on the scorecard. Six strikeouts now for Hamill. How good is this pitch? He's owned that spot tonight. Glove side command of the fastball down and away to the right handed hitter. You saw it with Lambeau, the inside corner to the lefty. And the change up here to Walker. So McCarthy out for the year. They called up a veteran Scott Baker to make a start yesterday. Two and zero on Walker. He lined to right in the second. I think in the cleanup spot. And he's got a ten-game hitting streak as he singles to right. Well, you could tell in, in that first at bat that he was seeing the ball really well. He ended up lining out. He hit that ball. Hard down the line foul and then lined out to right and here he's on this fastball. By the way, I think he would be heartened to know that there is a lot of passion for the uh, National League style of ball, certainly on Twitter. People are, are really oh, into right? it. They, they <laughs> do not want it. Under any circumstance, and the thing is, I agree. I'm just kind of giving up the fight. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, I was a couple years ago. It, it seemed like it was headed that way, but I have heard a, a, a number of you know people. You know, well, Bud Selig, right? Didn't Bud say that he, he, he didn't want to see it happen? Well, he grew up a National League yeah. fan uh, in Milwaukee, going to Braves games, so I think it's near and dear to his heart. How about we make a rule where you can hit for your pitcher once in the game but leave him in the game. The designated hitter only by one, one at bat. One at bat. I like it. Be very judicious as to when you yeah. use it. And if you don't use it tonight. You can use it two Whoa. tomorrow night. We're going to change. I <laughs> like that. <laughs> you can put him in the bank. By the way, for those tweeting us that uh, Andrew McCutcheon struck out on two pitches, it was three. We just happened to be one behind on a graphic. So that's why he didn't argue. It was actually three strikes, not two. Two and two on Marte. Oh, look oh out, Pedro Lord. Alvarez. Oh goodness. Man, that gives you flashbacks of Aaron Miles and Juan Encarnacion. Remember that? Back in St. Oh, Louis. Yeah. That ended Encarnacion's career. I think Miles was even batting right handed, and the ball ended up hitting Encarnacion in the face, fractured his orbital, and he never played another game. Well, he let that ball get really deep. <laughs> like he was playing cricket. Okay, looked like he was trying to hang in there and let that ball hit him. He gets hit by the pitch a lot. So the last able to spin out of the way. 3 2. Walker will be on the move.
ball hit that hard too, you, you don't have time to get out of the way. Nope. It just, it's just it either hits you or it doesn't. It's just a matter of luck. Jam shot, grounder to Russell, and the inning comes to an end. Two out single, no runs. Cubs three, Pirates nothing. At Dunkin', breakfast just got zestier with guacamole made from real avocados, tomatoes, cilantro, and lime. The new bacon guacamole flatbread. Ole indeed. America runs on Dunkin'. Country Financial wants to know, what if you could own your future? I mean, I would spend it with family and friends. Travel more. Retire. Can make decisions that aren't fear-based about money. At Country Financial, we take the time to get to know you so we can develop a plan with insurance and financial solutions to help you take charge of where you want to be. Have that fear removed from my mind. To help you own your future. To be in control of your future. Visit ownyourfuture.com to find a local Country Financial representative today. Empires. The bigger you build them, the more your enemies want to knock them down. Let them have their fun. You and I will revisit them soon enough. Do you want to come and play? Game of War. Play for free now from the App Store. We all scream for ice cream flavored iced coffees from Dunkin' Donuts. Try the delicious new Rocky Road butter pecan and cookie dough flavors today. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth here at Wrigley. Cubs on top, 3-0. Jorge Soler off to a pretty nice night, two for two despite his struggles coming into this. And I had a chance to talk to Manny Ramirez before the game who will be with the team throughout the homestand, helping a lot of the hitters, especially the young ones. And one of the things he said he noticed right away with Soler is when the guys around him started really heating up and hitting, he could tell right away he was pressing, trying really hard, and uh, he just needed to relax. Told him to still be aggressive, but wait for that pitch. Don't be afraid to take a walk. That's as good as a hit. And one of the things he left me with, guys, is that he said, don't forget, when it comes to scouting, very few teams had seen big league pitching going towards Soler, and they said now they're kind of beginning to see what's effective, pitching him inside and away, and he he basically said, you know, it's this whole cat and mouse game of now making the adjustments with J.D. I'm sure you can talk about in a young hitter's career and the pitchers facing him, how much they have to do that. Castro, the ground ball, to Jordy Mercer. Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of adjustments to be made for a young player, and that's why we marvel at Chris Bryant, how, you know, how he's been so disciplined at the plate, and that's the way Solaire was last year, and for the most part, in the early going this year, just this recent stretch where he's gotten out, out of his game a little bit and started to press. And sometimes you just run into good pitching, too. You, you run through a stretch of... Uh, games where the opposing starters are on top of their game and they're able to take advantage of it and the thing you have to do as a player and I think it's probably easier for the veteran than the younger guy is not to panic to realize hey you know tonight I'm just going to scratch and, and hopefully get a base hit somewhere along the way and you know tomorrow night or the night after that the guy in the mound won't be quite as good and I'll get myself two three knocks and do some damage. Strike on Chris Coughlin. Driven in the air out of the deep left. Back on it, Marte, and he gets there right in front of the vines. Coughlin's fly to the warning track and left both times. Clark's crew presented by Jewel Osco is the official kids club of the Chicago Cubs team up with Clark as a member of Clark's crew and receive kids specific perks experiences and merchandise. Visit Cubs.com slash Clark to sign up today. Be a part of the fun all season long. Late swing Jason Hamill. Off the 
played inside one and one. Really good contact so far this season. A time for an out as the Cubs go one, two, three, but they lead it three to nothing. Thank you for being a sailor and my daddy. Thank you, Mom, for protecting my future. Thank you for being my hero and my dad. Military families are thankful for many things. The legacy of USAA auto insurance could be one of them. Our world-class service earned USAA the top spot in a study of the most recommended large companies in America. If you're current or former military or their family, see if you're eligible to get an auto insurance quote. NASCAR race. Visit CSNChicago.com and enter the Chicagoland Speedway sweepstakes. Send in your pick to win. Then watch Sports Talk Live every Tuesday. And if Scott Paddock randomly selects your pick, you'll win tickets to the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. Plus, you'll be entered to win the grand prize, a trip for two to the 2015 Spring Cup Series award ceremony at the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas. Submit your race pick now and enter the Chicagoland Speedway sweepstakes at CSNChicago.com. Cubs Authentics is the premier outlet for all MLB authenticated game used and autographed Cubs memorabilia. Visit Cubs.com slash authentics for more information and to bid on weekly auction items including game used baseballs jerseys bases and much more the Cubs will donate net proceeds from the sale of Cubs Authentics to Cubs charities. He shoots he scores. Brent Seabrook. Night off and a Cub fan. Looks like he's sitting in the penalty box <laughs> behind the glass. Hey, so Josh Hamilton is back in a Texas Rangers yeah, uniform. About that. Five year, $125 million contract he signed with the Angels. He's been on the DL recovering from right shoulder surgery. He's going to report to the Rangers spring training facility in Arizona. Tomorrow, and they're hoping he's back in late May. When healthy and doing his thing, he was about as good as anybody in the game. Nothing he couldn't do on a baseball field. Speed, power, big arm. Off-field issues. Uh, uh, reported the rela drug relapse. Uh, did not report to the Angels uh, in spring training with the injury and then the relapse. An arbitrator ruled that he would not be disciplined. And based on some of the comments people in the Angels camp made at the time, it looked like that relationship was not going to last much longer. And he's back uh, with Texas. Yeah, and uh, no players uh, involved in that deal, uh, just a cash deal. And, and I, I believe the Angels are still paying the. the Real big chunk of, of the money owed, so it's kind of a, a very low risk deal for the Rangers, hoping he can kind of recapture what he did there previously. Yeah, he's got over $80 million due. According to uh, the story, he agreed to give up some of that money as Alvarez lines out. Pirates have not hit many balls hard this evening. That one was well struck by Alvarez. Jason Hamill complete control here. We'll see the Brewers this weekend. Ryan Braun not in their lineup for the second straight day. He's healthy, but uh, 
Ron Renneke, after a win yesterday, wanted to not change things up in their lineup. Cervelli with an opposite field single. Milwaukee hosting the Reds. Check that at Cincinnati tonight, and it's not going well for the Brewers. Nine to two, Cincinnati in the seventh. In all likelihood, the Brewers will lose, and they'll fall to four and sixteen. Ground ball to short last time up for Mercer. Jason Hamill would love to dial up another one of those. Get two, get out of here, and have the pitcher leading off the next inning. Bounce behind the bag, and Russell could not get it to Castro. That ball took a squirrely hop, and Russell had a hard time handling it. And he'll be charged with an error. I'm not sure what this ball did, but it did something funky once it got past the mound. He could not get it out of his glove. He was too close to Castro. Yeah, I think he was just uh, maybe a little indecision there, not sure what he should do. He hasn't played a lot of second base. Ideally, he just keeps charging that ball and runs right to the base to make sure he gets the out at second and worry so much about turning two. Yeah, they kicks, kicks back a little bit to the right on him. I think he, you know, he slowed up a little bit, maybe thinking that Castro was going to cut across in front of him. Bunted by Worley. That's a good bunt. Rizzo will pick it up. Russell covering first. It goes three to four. It seems to me pitchers early on that we've seen have not done a good job doing what Worley just did. And that is first pitch, just get the yes. ball down. <laughs> yes. When asked to bunt, now we talked to Joe Madden about it, and you know, a lot of times, depending on the situation, he'll let his pitcher swing early, trying to. You know, do a little damage and then he'll put the bunt on later on in the bat but if the sacrifice bunt is on it's one of my pet peeves in the game guys go up there in a clear sacrifice situation and they'll take that first pitch right there put themselves in a hole Pirates trying to get back in the game and a two out RBI spot for Harrison and he takes a strike. Cubs pitching did not allow a hit to the Reds with a runner in scoring position in that two game weekend sweep. One of the reasons why the Pirates are fifth in the league in runs scored, despite a 232 team batting average, is they've been really good in these situations. And chases one in the dirt. He thinks he got a piece of it. Lance Barrett said no inning over. They strand two. It's still 3 nothing. It's only a muffin freshly baked in store. And just one bite will have you wanting more. New freshly baked cranberry orange double chocolate and blueberry McCafe muffins. Now a small McCafe coffee in any muffin is only $2.29. Xfinity presents It's Time. Two legends. One destiny. All roads end here. Mayweather Pacquiao, May 2nd, live on pay per view. Order now with your remote on Xfinity from Comcast. Check the facts on the Hyundai Elantra. Fact, the Elantra is one of KBB.com's 10 tech-savviest cars under 20K. Fact, it's got an available 7-inch touchscreen display with rear-view camera, hands-free Bluetooth connectivity, and remote starts right from your iPhone or Android device. Fact, it's a 2015 IIHS top safety pick. And fact, lease the Elantra SE for $120 a month or get $27.50 bonus cash on the Elantra Sport or Elantra Limited. Get the facts at buyhyundai.com. 
One good reason to have the hot and spicy McChicken sandwich is that it's only $1.29. But if you need another reason, here's 129 more. The perfectly spiced hot and spicy McChicken is only $1.29. Find more to love on the McDonald's dollar menu and more. Hey everyone, Chris Bowden back in our Comcast Sportsnet studios with this Coors Light Cold Heart Back Sportsnet Central update. Joel Quenville confirmed today Corey Crawford will get the start in net for the Blackhawks in Game 1 against the Wild. That series will start sometime later this week. Be sure to stick around after the final lot as Cap and Holly host Post Game Live from Wrigley. But for now, let's head back to the north side with Len and J.D. Thank you, Chris. 3-0 Cubs as they try to start this homestand. With a win over a team that has won five in a row. The Pirates just swept the Diamondbacks in Arizona. That is the first three game sweep for the Pirates at a National League West club since 2007. Cubs swept the Reds two games over the weekend in Cincy. A mini sweep. Mini sweep, yeah. Like a little whisk broom. I like the uh, umpires the umpire. Bro. Yeah. yeah. One strike on Russell. Two strikes. On the kid. That was Robin Yount's nickname. What was he 18. Came to the big leagues. The kid. And it stuck. He's still the kid. He's in his 50s. Gary Carter. Yeah. Hit for Russell as Harrison knew he had to barehand it and just couldn't get it. Sinker gets on top of it, a little rollover chopper to Harrison. Do or die play. It's tougher to make on a cold night, too. A little funky spin working. Fowler tried to bunt for a hit. Marlins have cut Jared Saltalamakia, catcher. It's not a three year deal prior to last year. JT Real Muto will take over. And had already taken over. Back to the plate. Well, Marlins playing good ball. They've won five in a row. Just swept the Nationals. They gave it up tonight. Yeah. Uh, Steve Ciszek. Mets scored three in the ninth to beat the Marlins three to one. Jared Cozart eight shutout innings on two hits. It's a very tough no decision. That's a hang with him. Oh. Daniel Murphy with a game winning two run homer. Runner goes that ball popped into shallow left and it will drop down for a hit. Good job by Worley the pitcher to cover third as Russell was thinking about advancing another base. How about the way this inning is yeah, started a little, a little chopper to third and a little flare into shallow left. And Gary Jones is trying to bring Addison Russell all the way over. He knows that ball is going to drop in. Normally that's a ball a shortstop would make a play on or have the best chance to make a play on but Mercer was swung way around the other way. Good call Jonesy. So 
chance here with two on and nobody out. Big part of the order coming up, but trouble here. Five to four to three. Double play, two outs. You know what the good news there was? It wasn't a triple play. <laughs> you wonder where you were going there. There was no outs when it started, so Rizzo's got a chance to drive in a run here. That's the other bit of good news. Gary Jones talking to Addison Russell down there. But normally, we when the base runners are on, we talk about him picking up the third base coach, especially when the ball's behind them. That time it was in front of them, but never hurts to pick up the third base coach, especially for a young guy like Russell. And that way, Jones, he can say, look, it's on me. I brought you over. If you get thrown out, so what? It's, I, I was waving you on. Trickles away from Cervelli, but not far enough. The intentional talk crew here tonight from MLB Network. They did their show on the field before the game. Chris Rose and Kevin Millar will do the stretch. That'll be a base hit. Rizzo with a second RBI hit. And it's 4 nothing as Russell scores. Well, that's a big lift provided by Rizzo after the double play. Threatened to clean up the inning. Anthony was 455 on the, on the road trip. I mean, he's just been a machine here. One good at bat after another. This ball's off the plate, down. But he covers it. He covers the outside part of the plate so well because he's right on top of home plate. Big guy is off to a great start. All the runs tonight have come with two outs. They'll start checking him. You talked about it earlier. Five out of five in stolen bases, and a lot of times what Anthony does is will take a very short lead. Kind of lull everybody to sleep, and then he'll get that running start. Frank Batista with a nice performance at Double A Tennessee yesterday. Seven innings, one run allowed. He's got a 1.02 ERA. Albert Almora hitting 306 off to a good start. That one lofted, little soft liner, center field, Rizzo to second. So they've combined to go. Four for six with four RBIs so far. Stays back nicely on the breaking ball. Not a bad pitch. Down around the knees. Off the end of the bat. Fowler's been on twice. Solaire's been on twice. Adamas Liz. 
Most your best customers and guests in a private suite here at Wrigley Field. The Nuveen Investment Suites can accommodate anywhere from 15 to 55. Include food, where you can drink, and parking. To book your premier experience at the ballpark, visit Cubs.com slash suites. Iowa Cubs lost seven to nothing in a seven inning double header game today in Colorado Springs game two postponed due to falling temperatures. But the I Cubs might be able to go skiing tonight. I think they've got some snow up there in the mountains. Where are they? Colorado Springs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's a good workout. Warley to Montero, ball two. First place Cardinals are on top of the Phillies, one to nothing, bottom of the fifth. In St. Louis, John Lackey and Paul Hamels doing the pitching. Lifted in the air, left field, handled by Marte. Cubs add to their lead, four nothing. After five. Building our dream house on a hill wasn't the best decision we ever made. But I did get one thing right. Introducing the hill climbing power of the new Toro all-wheel drive mower. Toro. Count on it. Honda developed the first fuel-injected motorcycle? The world's first omnidirectional personal mobility device. We even made rear view cameras standard on every 2015 Honda vehicle. But I'm here to introduce one of our greatest innovations yet. The Honda Dream Garage sales event. With great deals on almost everything we make right now. So go. You've got a garage to fill. The Honda Dream Garage sales event. Get a dream deal on an Odyssey. The standard rear view camera. Now at your Honda dealer. Wendy's new jalapeno fresco chicken is so deliciously hot, it's Ooh. generating reactions from everyone. Jalapeno wearing sunglasses, fire flame, fire flame. Hands clapping, thumbs up. Wendy's new jalapeno fresco, our signature spicy chicken with fresh jalapenos and ghost pepper sauce. How will you react? Add comfort and style to your home with Hunter ceiling fans from Menards. This 52-inch low-pro fan in four finishes is $89.97. All stock Hunter ceiling fans are on sale. Dress up any room with Shaw Carpet. Abigail Plush Carpet adds style and comfort to any room. Available in two colors, only 74 cents per square foot. Woodbury Frise Carpet offers a luxurious feel at an affordable price. In three colors, only $129 a square foot. Save big money at Menards. Tomorrow, don't miss Sports Talk Live on Comcast Sportsnet. David Kaplan leads a roundtable on the day's hottest topics, interviews Chicago's biggest stars, and interacts with you, the viewer. Sports Talk Live, presented by the all-new Chevy Silverado. Tomorrow at 5 on Comcast Sportsnet. Jason Hamilton tonight has been terrific. Our team mobile game changer. Five shutout innings. Suffered the loss. His last start at Pittsburgh. Different story tonight with a 4 0 lead. Three hits, no walks, seven strikeouts. Yeah, that it, continues a trend for him in terms of the walks and the strikeouts. Yeah, it's uh, one, one walk so far this year. 23 punch outs, one walk. That'll play. Yeah, and, and you know, and a lot of times you think, well, it's. It's cold weather, so it's uh, easy to pitch. But just watching the quality of his pitches tonight, that you know, the game he has pitched tonight would play regardless of the weather. Hot night in July. I mean, the fastball command has been outstanding. That curveball he finished Harrison off with to end the last inning was just flat out nasty. Two on the way, Lambo. Two bouncer right to Rizzo. Gregory Polanco had been hot, scratched due to groin tightness. Lambo in his stead is nothing for three. Now McCutcheon. Hitting next number 22, center fielder. Hitting just a buck 80. 
Blanco hit a home run off Jason Hamlin in his start in Pittsburgh last week. As a pitcher, you always worry too when you make back-to-back -back starts against the same team. You think, oh man, they're gonna, they're gonna be all over my stuff. Not the case. Comes a 1 1. Down, it's a good place to be. You're going to miss. Bryant. And he got him. Oh, man. Lizzo <laughs> stayed on the bag. And I saw you took a long look at that one before making the call. Clint Hurdle's making his way out of the pirate dugout. They might want to take a look at this one. Ryan has a tendency to have that throw sail up the line on him a little bit. I think they got him. No he will not challenge. Right now, the toughest guy in this higher lineup with the nine game hitting streak. Two good at bats tonight, a line out, a solid single. center Fowler's got it we go to the bottom of the sixth Cubs four Pirates nothing this is the movie you've all been waiting for this is your mission no this is an envelope that's actually we're all gonna die not a movie I don't know anything do you think I'm an idiot but really just a commercial Reminding people to eat M&M's. Wait, what? This is just a commercial. Um, can someone shut off the... Visit CSNChicago.com for great deals on your favorite team's merchandise. From jerseys and hats to autograph memorabilia and more. Outfit yourself in your favorite team's gear. And visit the fan shop at CSNChicago.com now. Every night. Get ready for the most dynamic show in Chicago. Epic highlights. Hey, that's hot. Oh! The hardest hitting interviews. We've got a good bullpen. These guys are all young and getting better. Your city, your teams, your show. This is Sportsnet Central. Every night at 6.30, 10, 10.30, and midnight on Comcast Sportsnet. Here comes Richards going wide, driving back, shooting, he scores! Denorpia back on, and he's got it on the warning track. What a grab by Denorpia. It breaks out again, and this is a good one, folks. Look for the cheap shots, because there's probably going to be some. Rose, wise and scores. Too big, too strong, too fast, too good. The series, three games to none, the Bulls with the advantage. The Cubs page on CSNChicago.com. Thursday night, get ready for the NFL Draft with CSN Chicago, starting with a special on-location edition of Sports Talk Live from the Tavern at the Park. Plus the latest from the Auditorium Theater and Alice Hall as the Bears get set to pick at number seven. NFL Draft coverage presented by Miller Lite starts at 5.30 on Comcast Sportsnet. Side on Starlin Castro. Cubs batting in the sixth. Leading 4 0. Castro 
Castro for two bounced into a double play his first time. Home run cut there. On the ground twice tonight. And he's always been a guy who hits the ball on the ground a lot. I mean, real extreme so far this year. Not slugging, he's hit a couple of home runs, but, but the batting average has been outstanding. And, and Joe Madden is, we have seen, likes to start runners when, when Starlin's up there. He's hit the ball when he puts it in play over 60% of the time on the ground. Two and two.